Hello there, my name is Jakob Hack and I want to show you the latest update for Audiobus Remote. To actually see it in action, we have to launch up Audiobus Remote on the iPhone right here. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry about that. And then we have to make sure that Bluetooth is on. When that is done, we also launch Audiobus on the iPad. We then have to turn on Bluetooth on the second device. That way, Audiobus Remote will be able to connect to Audiobus. And as you can see, we now have a connection. Very, very nice. We're now gonna load up one of the coolest apps on the App Store, and that is, of course, Loopy. If we watch closely on this side, we can see a lot of controls popping up. That corresponds to Loopy. Now, I rarely use just one app when I make music, so we're gonna load up another one, Sound Prism Electro. It has a lot of controls, and here's where the new update comes in. In the new update for Audiobus Remote, a function is added to actually maximize and minimize your control. This way, you can unclutter, or clutter, if you wish, your surface. I think this feature is really, really cool and very, very useful. So go and update Audiobus Remote to the latest version and you'll be able to do things like this. Isn't that cool? Look at this. Yeah, I'm having a lot of fun. Now go finger your surfaces and have lots of fun doing it.